Ravens, Ravens, Ravens. I cannot freaking believe it. Unbelievable. So there's always next year. I do not believe it. Time to pack away the jersey for next year. I, I really do not believe it. So close to the Super Bowl. That's all I gotta say. Well, this is LJZ0724. And I'm going to review a book. Very great. My introduction to Dean Koontz's writing style and works. The Taking by Dean Koontz. This book was phenomenal. I'm not going to lie. I would say to anyone looking to start Dean Koontz's books, like I was, start here. It's the best place. And as I said, I was really surprised with Dean Koontz's descriptive writing style. I, I mean, I've never had an author who's quite that descriptive. There's so many words in this book that I wasn't sure of their meaning. So you can't expect and your vocabulary from reading his books. I mean, it was absolutely great. And it is not the longest book. It is 399 pages, so just under 400 pages, not including the um, little preview at the back for What the Night Knows by Dean Kuntz. I didn't bother reading that, but yeah. Um, I read this pretty quickly. I just finished the other day, and... This book is great. What it is, it's, it's an apocalyptic book um, with two main characters, Neil and Molly Sloan. And they live in California, and one night Molly wakes up and she hears oh, this great downpour, rain drumming on the roof. Goes into a great description about the rain and the quality of the rain. The rain is really weird, has this weird scent about it. And she looks out the window. There, there's always coyotes on her front porch, like, hiding from whatever's out in the rain. So she's thinking, like, what the heck is out there? And gradually throughout the book, um, they tune in to the news channel. They find out it's worldwide. And, yeah, every, it's like the end of the world. There's so much rain pouring down. And as the story progresses, you find out there's these creatures that... Um, I can't really describe, it's like their, their shape shifts, and there's these other creatures that are like these scaly cr lizard creatures, and there's these, these like red dragon creatures, and these, like these fungus creatures, it's so, so weird, and so, so creepy. There are some parts, there's one particular, if you've read this, you know what I'm talking about, doll. Yeah, that was a freaking creepy part. When they were in that bar, and the lights go out, I was expecting it to be killing people. I don't have no idea, man. This is a scary book. You can literally easily get nightmares from this. I know for one, when I read this, the night after I read this, I, could, I had trouble falling asleep. Call me a wimp, but really, dude, <laughs> this is a freaking creepy book. That's about all I can say. I mean, this, the, and the plot is great. I'm not kidding. Dean Koontz, top marks to you. The plot is just phenomenal. It really is a tour de force. And I would have to agree. I mean, I haven't read any of Dean Koontz's other books, but this does seem like a book where Dean Koontz would be in top form. I'm very excited to read his other books, such as the Odd Thomas series, and actually, in my English class, we just finished reading Frankenstein, so I'm very excited to get into his modern retelling of Frankenstein. That sounds great, that series. So I am personally very excited to get more into Dean Koontz's books. Great book. Um, great apocalyptic book. If you like those sort of end-of-world apocalypse books, check this out. If you're a fan of horror, check this out. If you're a fan of action, check this out. If you're... Fan of some romance, there's not really any romance, but check it out. I mean, this book combines a lot of different elements, and Dean Koontz, you really do make this work. I will say, towards the middle, it does get slightly boring, but that doesn't last that long. It only lasts maybe 
40 pages in the middle, it's not big of a deal. I can easily overlook it. So if I had to rate this, I am going to give this book 5 out of 5. This is freaking amazing, that's all I gotta say. And if you're one of those people who gets nightmares easily from books, yeah, you're gonna be getting some nightmares. So, 5 out of 5, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.